guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Secret Society Justice League issue 23.4. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Uh, first update is that I have um, a live show for my 3,000 subscribers tomorrow, and that'll be at 10 Eastern Time uh, PM. So definitely go check that out. That's Friday. Um, so you can ask questions and stuff. So it should be fun. So Definitely try to catch it live. Um, but I only have three subscribers left to get to 3,000. So I, I hope I get to 3,000 by tomorrow. Uh, that way it, it makes sense. I'm doing the 3,000 subscriber live show. Uh, also, of course, I have um, the exclusive comics for Comic Uno episode 15, which are Bane issue 23.4. And also we'll have an in depth review on Dark Avenger Inc. Uh, for Bane because we are reviewing every Villains Month issue throughout all the reviewers. And I am contributing with Bane this week. Uh, so we got Bane, we got The Wake, Issue 4, we got Guardians of the Galaxy, Issue 6, Nova, Issue 8, and then Batman and Superman, Doomsday, Issue 33.1, so definitely go check that out. Uh, but let's talk about Secret Society, Issue 23.4. Uh, first, just want to say, I was able to pretty much get all 3D covers, want to thank my comic book store uh, for getting me all my... 3D covers, uh, except, you know, only a couple. Uh, lucky enough to get uh, 3D covers, so I want to thank Jim Hanley's universe. Uh, so definitely thank you for that. Um, I wasn't able to get one 3D cover. I'm sure you guys could guess which one, which one I wasn't able to get. Uh, but a very cool 3D cover for Seek Society. The art is pretty good. Um, you know, not the best, because, like, what is he doing? Like, holding his arm, like, shaking Superman's, uh, or, yeah, Superman's cape. So it's not the best 3D-ness you could use for it. But the art is pretty good here, and I think the art's kind of better for the cover than it is for, um... The art inside. So, although the helicopter is moving, which is cool. Uh, but let's talk about the issue see if I like that. Um, so, in this issue, we do get to see um, Alfred is, or, you know, the outsider, I'll just say, but it's not like Alfred <laughs> from the New 52, uh, but it is Alfred uh, of Earth 3, uh, the crime syndicate. So, he is the narrator. He is a uh, very I guess he's very loyal to Owlman, who is Thomas Wayne. We get to see a little bit of that origins and see, like, the difference of this world. The Owlman is a villain, I guess. Uh, he's a villain. Joker seemed more of a hero, I guess. You know, they don't really explain that that well in this issue. Um, and also we get to see the Talon actually is Nightwing, so Earth-3 Nightwing is dead, and that's how the Nightwing of... Earth 1, you know, uh, New 52 is still alive. I think that's how it works. I remember Jay, uh, you know, uh, Philly Superman, uh, comic book theater is trying to explain that. Uh, I'm not pretty, I don't know how that actually works. Uh, but yeah, so the talent is dead in this issue. We get to see that uh, more. And then something happened to Barbara also. That wasn't really explained in this issue. Um, so that's why we know why uh, Nightwing was more of a target for Forever Evil. And Outsider wants to kill Nightwing. Uh, just because Owlman, that's like Owlman's weakness is Nightwing, because Talon died. Um, and that's pretty much what happens here. And, you know, it is a very good, um, I guess, tie-in to Forever Evil, and we get that ending where it's going to connect to Forever Evil issue 2. Um, you know, I was going to give this a little higher grade, but explaining it, I think this issue is a little bit more on the confusing side. Uh, for me, I've never read The Crime Syndicate or Secret Society, so I was a little confused with this issue. I felt like uh, we were jumping into a story I didn't really know much about. Um, and I don't know if they really explained it very well in this issue. Um, I got that Talon died. That was Nightwing. Um, I guess I got that Thomas Wayne was the one who survived in the situation, but I don't really get this whole world. Um, again, I, I've never really read Crime Syndicate stuff, and uh, I don't really get the world. Like, who's the villains, who aren't? It seemed that in the beginning, Thomas Wayne and his family was um, going up. You know, they were actually villains. They they were going to kill somebody. But someone else was trying to kill them, and then the police are against other people. They're evil, it seems like. Uh, so I thought it was a little confusing in this issue. And then they referenced Barbara, and she wasn't even in this issue. Um, they referenced that they lied to Talon, but they didn't refer really say what they said, you know, how to do with their parents' death, but what exactly was it. Um, so I was a little disappointed with that. So I like that I was connected to Forever Evil. You know, I like the narration. I like the story, but I was a little confused because I felt like I was jumping into this story that I don't know much about. Uh, so I think more people that know more about the crime syndicate will like this. They'll jump into a story they know about. But for the people that really don't, I feel like they explained a little 
but they thought we should have known more. You know, I feel like they they're like, oh, they know about Barbara Gordon. They they know they know what happened in this world. Uh, when we really don't, we're we're jumping into a new world, uh, especially for a lot of people that started with the New Fifty Two or a little bit before. Uh, I don't I don't really remember the Crime Syndicate really being a uh, part for a while in the DC Universe. And I, I started reading uh, DC Universe um, maybe like two or three years before. Um, the New 52, so I don't remember the Crime Syndicate even being in the DC Universe, so it's been a little while. Um, so yeah, I was a little disappointed with that, so I am going to give this three stars. It wasn't a bad issue. The art was that dark art we got like with Scarecrow, kind of stiff, um, dark in places that didn't need to be dark. Uh, that's actually a perfect e example. It's like, it's just these, sh uh, I guess, shading really didn't work in this issue for me. It's kind of stiff, I guess. Um, the movements were stiff here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give it three stars. It, for uh, someone that really doesn't know much about Secret Society, I didn't enjoy it. But tell me if you know a lot about Secret Society and you enjoyed it. Or do you think you jumped into a story that you just didn't know much about and they didn't really explain a lot of things. So I do give this three stars. Hope you guys enjoyed this. It's Comic Unknown. You know, guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Unknown you know, and the Rand Situations. And don't forget to like my Facebook page. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.